I think it will be jarring when we see an inter interest rate hike because we haven't had one for some time. And then I think, you know, people will get out the smelling salts, take a sniff and recover because when we have, an, when we have that first hike, um, the Fed has already suggested that it will be very conservative at the trajectory of future hikes. And so if we end up with interest rates at a half a percent, or even if we went over time in the near future to 1% against a growth rate, it'll only be because the growth rate is at trend growth or maybe even higher, that will still be substantially easier financial conditions than we usually have. Um, it's a funny set of circumstances that makes interest rates so low while growth is so, uh, while growth is so embedded. And that's because of the uncertainty that that growth is really truly embedded. And the Fed would rather take a risk on having rates too soft for longer than run the risk of giving up all that they've accomplished um, uh, and, and in, in getting the economy to where it is now. And so they will keep things easier for a long time. You can also argue that because Congress is so fragmented and paralyzed, we don't have much of a fiscal policy and the Fed has no choice but to do some things that it wasn't really designed for and that I don't think monetary policy is the right ways to go about it. But if nobody else is going to do something, they feel an obligation, and probably right, that they have to do something. Having said all of that, there does seem to be a lot of job creation, but I don't know any business person that's going to decide to go into a business or build a building because interest rates are at 0.25 versus 2.5. I mean, come on. If interest rates and tax policy are the, decision, are the guiding factors in terms of whether an investment makes sense or not, you're making the wrong investment.